we're standing here in the center of one of New York's biggest private universities. As you can see, the snow is falling. This is the epicenter of all things of this college and makes for the perfect location for this year's game. This is Syracuse University. Known for its snowy weathers, great collegiate sports, and great academics, Syracuse University brings in many different backgrounds from all over the world and is the perfect location for the biggest social experiment known to date, Survivor. We have 17 new people joining this first season of Survivor Syracuse from all over the world. What they don't know is they'll have the power this season to poison one of their rivals from the opposite team, not allowing that team to vote them off. Will they succeed in doing so? We'll find out. So let's backtrack 79 days to see how it all played out. Let's go. 79 days, 17 people, one survivor. Hey guys, um, I'm Valentina. Um, I'm super excited for Survivor. Um, I just wanted to like let you guys know where, like, where my head was at, um, at least a week before the first challenge. Um, time flies, wow. But um, yeah, in terms of like me prepping, um, I've done a lot of like analyzing like other college like seasons such as like OSU, Maryland, UConn, um, and really seeing how like it how like the game works in a college setting because I know it's a lot different than um, the, the CBS version. Um, in terms of like the CBS version I've been you know studying the Peridium videos um, and also just like analyzing a bunch of people's games um, and like the mistakes that they made, try not to make the same. Um, and then also, you know, taking a page out of their books and just um, seeing if I can pull off some dope moves. Um, yeah, in terms of like the people that I know in this game, I, I, I hesitate saying like that I'm gonna rely on those numbers. All of us love this game. We're gonna be gunning for each other, but um, I hope that I don't, I think, backstab them before they backstab me because I, I, don't, I just don't wanna to be too paranoid, but at the same time, like obviously I want to beat them. Um, so treading lightly and then stabbing them in the back. It's Carly and Brian. We just got back to campus. Uh, we're really excited to be back and be playing in a few days. Brian, anything to say? Yeah, we're really excited to go on this journey and, you know, just figure out um, who's the best Survivor player at Syracuse University. Brian, have you ever watched Survivor? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, like, not full episodes, but I've definitely seen the show. Okay. Like, I get the gist of it. Do you like it? it? Um, I think it's an interesting concept. Um, I'm just super excited to play the mind game for this year. Because you lie. <laughs> <laughs> Exaggerate the truth, um, definitely. And I think that it's important, you know, that to realize that this game is a mental game, not mm -hmm. much, so much. This is true. Much, this is true. Game. Okay, so the lighting here is trash, and there's a couple making up back there. It's the first day before classes, everyone's starting, but I'm on my way to first challenge of Survivor, and there is an optional meet and greet period, which I'll be going to, but people who, I feel like, I feel like everyone should be going to this meet and greet thing, because if you're not, you're really not here to play or win.
So a lot has been leading up to this point. A lot of meetings, a lot of interviews, a lot of discussion on what twists are, tribe splits, stuff of that nature. So let's start about let's start with tribes. So a lot of people are here for different reasons. A lot of people are huge Survivor fans. I see some in the crowd. A lot of people are a lot, a lot of people are here just to make new friends. A lot of people are here because they want to compete in something. A lot of pe people are here for several different reasons. So, without further ado, we're just going to get right to it. When I call your name, you're going to step forth, and I'm going to give you a bag with your buff in it. Do not open the bag. Just take the bag, sit back down. All right? All right. First person, Sean DePause. Yeah. <laughs> let's get let's get Ryan Baker here. I'm super excited. Uh, can't wait to meet the other contestants. Um, get off to the races. Just move into school, but hey, we're going for it. I'm also a little curious as to what today's challenge is going to be. We were told to prepare to get wet, so I don't know. Maybe wear a bathing suit. Haven't decided yet. Um, Brian. Uh, Logan. There you go. Don't open it yet. Who else we have here? Ava. Okay, Ava. Thanks, Brian. Molly Gibbs. Oh, Molly! Okay, Molly. Let's see. Let's see. I think we'll stop there. Okay. All right, Jake. Don't don't clap too loud. <laughs> Catherine. Julia. Yeah, that's right. Woo! Julia? Oh. Oh. Okay. Valentine. Oh, that's Valentina. 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 Oh, Cam. <laughs> Lapaska. Yeah, Molly. Curtis, you don't have a buff? <laughs> I think you know why. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna start with the we'll start with the girls this time. So girls, guys, keep your bags, keep your buffs. Girls, you can open up your buffs, reveal your tribes. Oh, Carly doesn't have them. <laughs> she said her out. So we know she's an athlete. All right, now girls can open up their buffs and reveal their tribes. I don't know what they want to be. No, definitely orange. Okay, I see orange. I'm definitely blue. Orange. I'm definitely blue. Last time. Guys are ready to find out your tribe mates? Yeah. Guys, reveal. I knew it. Run! 
All right, can I get the uh, orange team? Orange team, second row. Blue team, first row. All right, your tribes. What's the main time? So you guys can recognize there's a bit of a divide, if you guys can see it. Um, if you look at the top row, all of these people have survivor knowledge, big brother knowledge. They are fans of the show. That's such a <laughs> But at the same time, they have something to prove. They want they want to be here. They want to win. They know about the show and they want to win it. They want to have their shot to choose it. So, who do we go about our first? The question's there. The front row has something to prove as well. They're not that survivor experience. They don't that have much knowledge about Survivor, but they're here for a reason. They're here, they can win it, and they want to prove it to the fans that they will. Okay. So, recognizing the theme of the first season, it's Survivor Syracuse fans versus firsts. Ryan, you brought up a good point. What, yeah. What's that point? Um, that we are outnumbered. You are outnumbered. Now, that's a bit unfair for the, uh, the non-fan side. So, Fans, you guys can deliberate. You're going to choose one fan to take from their team to put on yours. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right we now. have to, have to, get to choose guys. one fan. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, can't take us all. Oh, she's her lady. What's her name? She doesn't. She wants to be on this team the least. Yeah, she does. Oh, she might. Yeah, but I she's, like she's, she's going to be so good at this game. She's going to be so good at this game. Or Molly. I don't know the strategy. Or Molly. Or Molly. <laughs> uh, Luke is on your team. Okay, so right. here's the thing. I think that... Alright, so oh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to say... Maybe. Yeah, we figured that uh, one. Yeah. Okay, Julia Kelly, we know it's getting out first round. Yeah, yeah I don't think she not. even wants to be here. So. <laughs> Julia, stop! I want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Carly or Molly. That's what I agree. It's one of the two. I don't know Molly. Yeah, you but Carly Molly is really Molly is really into it. Molly was searching. All right, first have made a decision. Who will take from the fans' team? One, two, three, Carly! <laughs> Don't forget us. We love you. Come to the door side, Carly. I'll take your bandana. Okay. Welcome to the first. Okay. Hey, guys. We love you, Carly. I'm going to be white. Guys, I will never forget. Don't talk to her team. Okay, so coming into this into the first challenge, I was really excited because I thought my team looked really strong and I was really excited. And when I found out that we're all, they were all fans, I felt like, wow, we really have an advantage. I think there's weaknesses to knowing about the this, this Survivor show before this, but I was excited because I was like, everyone seems really enthusiastic, everyone's into it. And then suddenly I got switched and now I'm on the blue team. And so I think I'm the most confused person here because I got really committed to my team in like two seconds and now I'm on this other team. But um, I'm really excited. Uh, I know, I know it. Why they well, here's how it's gonna go. So pretend that Syracuse University campus is the island on Survivor, and rather than us living in tents, we live in our separate dorms, right? But you're good at this. You're good. At but but the game is constantly going on until every Sunday slash Friday slash Saturday because it changes in the schedule. So. <laughs> so the next one is should be Friday. I think a Friday. So our our like tribal council is gonna happen before every challenge. So it's only once a day that we'll actually see each other. But every other day counts because we have to be strategizing every other day that we're here. Okay, so basically um, right now we're strategizing and I think our team really did a great job of picking Carly. She seems to really know what she's doing and taking charge of her team. I just think. Um, you know, not everyone knows her own strengths, and I think that she's really self-aware. But I think that could also become a problem because she was on the other team before, so maybe, you know, I know she wasn't too happy to be switching teams because she thinks that they're going to win. So I really hope that, you know, she doesn't trade us. Betray us. <laughs> Honestly, when I first uh, saw the teams, uh, based off first impressions, I was pretty disappointed with our team selection. Um, and we have Brian on our team and I know he just likes to start drama and I think that's going to be a real, it's going to create a real divide in our team. Should we go over names? Because I feel like I know them, but like yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we can try again. Okay. I'm Jake. Colin. Okay. Curtis. Molly. Valentina. Julia. Like, I, can't. I know people. So we're here, like, I'm kind of nervous. I showed up late and I missed, like, the mingling session with everyone. So, like, I, like, know everyone here, but sometimes, like, you don't really form a bond until you're doing the thing.
thing. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I feel really good about my team. Um, I really like the tribe. We're really meshing together. We all love Survivor, and we all like have like a really good plan and strategy. And I feel like we all get along with each other and vibe, so it's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm not too worried about the other tribe either because there's a lot of people over there that like I know. So like I feel like I'm gonna get like the inside scoop a little bit. Like, so I'm not nervous, <laughs> but I think it's gonna be really fun. I hope we win. I think we're going to, but now that I said it out loud, we might not. But yeah, I'm really excited. Cool. <laughs> All right, first step. Two players from each tribe will have to balance a tennis ball on this wooden plate all the way down to that water bucket over there. Okay. Once we get to the water bucket, we'll have four people from each tribe do this part of the challenge. One person will fill up the sponge, fill it up with water, toss it to the middle person. The middle person will toss it to the person down here. Doesn't matter the length, just if you drop it, there'll be a fourth runner who will return it back to the original like filler upper. Does everyone understand that? Okay, so there's three, one, two, three. You uh, empty it into the bucket, there's a little marker. If you drop it at any point on the ground, the runner will have to pick it up and return it back to the first person. Last part is the remaining two people doing a world word puzzle. Okay, we're looking for a three-worded phrase. Three words. Three. <laughs> All right? Okay. Oh, okay. Fans. All right. One, One two, two, three. Fans! fans! Why are we saying? First, first, oh, first right. is on three. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> first! <laughs> All right, now. Don't open it. You open it, it's done. After we have Ryan Baker and Catherine, we're in balance. We have Julian Curtis, we're in balance. We have Bunches, we have Paul, Colin, Molly, we're Cameron, and we have Ryan. Okay, we're going to do the first one. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the first one. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. And we have Logan, Molly, Ava, and Carly, the runner. Right? Then we have Jason B. Taking up the pace, Ryan and Cat. Perfect. Take your time. You guys are doing awesome. That's easy money. They gotta make it into the bucket. They gotta make it into the bucket. You got it, guys. Julian, Curtis, catch it up. Ben, 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 Ben. 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 Ben, Ben,
drop it. Orange is good! One more squeeze, they got it. Puzzle's a hard one. Blue team's good! Go, go, go. Puzzle's on! Son and Brian! I got it, I got it, him Ryan thinks he has it. Yeah, it's the first one. Ryan thinks he has it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Move the arm eye, move the arm eye. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Say it. First down with one. Blue team, one. Oh, challenge. I think I did well on the challenge, but that also is a bit of a negative thing because you get a target for being a stronger player in the challenge. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about tribal because I don't know the social dynamics of the group and I don't know like if there's person on the out, but I like them a lot. So it was a lot of fun. I'm happy to be here, I guess. So I uh, volunteered to do the puzzle and uh, we lost on the puzzle. We were in the lead until then. So, uh, you know, not feeling great right now. Feeling like it definitely could be me, and I gotta make sure that doesn't happen. First challenge in the books. How do you guys think? It was, it was, it was really fun. Fun. The first one. Yeah. That's the first. Sad, okay. um, Orange team will have to show up to the next challenge 45 minutes earlier to vote someone out. That's on Friday. Um, before we get to that, though, there is another twist to this game. Of course. So, <laughs> it's Survivor Syracuse fans versus first Poison Rivals, as I've said before in the interview. So basically, the poison rivals twist is the same thing that indicates poison. So poison, you can't really touch that person, that guy, that girl, it's kind of contaminated, they're untouchable. But at a certain point, it might get back to them, they might not be there anymore, they might die, they might kill out. So, might die. <laughs> in terms of poison rivals for this challenge, for now, since the winning team is the first, they get to choose one person on the other team to save and be poisoned. That means the person on the fans tribe will have a vote, but they cannot receive any votes. And they'll be safe for that tribal council. So they can't get kicked off. Do, do so they, they, they know who they are then, yeah? They do know who they are right now. So, In addition, we didn't pick. they also get a clue <laughs> to a poisoned idol. The details will be in here. Read it on your own terms. Make sure to vlog it. Yeah. In addition, uh, first tribe, you guys will also be getting a clue for your own individual team's immunity. 
doing as ever as you might with it. Yeah. So, guys, deliberate. Can we go over there? You guys, yeah. You guys have four minutes. Uh, we'll give you five minutes to pick one person that you want to save. Who do you guys choose to poison? Yeah. One, two, one, two, one. Curtis. Hey. Curtis, come on up here. <laughs> Curtis will be safe for the next tribal council. <laughs> like I trust any you guys. Vote but... <laughs> any vote casted for Curtis will not count. You also have this. Read it to private quarters. I will. And blog it. I will. All right, great. Well, all right, guys. That's all I have. Thank you guys again. Um, Friday's our next challenge, tribal council. Friday. For the fans. I'm glad that they gave it to me, but I kind of feel like the other team thinks I'm the weakest link now. So that's not, uh, that's not chilling, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm safe, you know? I'm excited to look at this idol, maybe share it with some people, but uh, you know, I felt like I uh, came out on top while also getting completely shit on, but. <laughs> so today in our challenge, Ryan was really against Ava, and I think Ava's one of our biggest links on our team, but I think, well, Luca didn't show up. Sorry, Luca didn't show up, so then I was thinking that, but we won, so I don't care. So the first challenge went well. I'm really happy we won. I got really nervous um, in the middle because I was scared that my missing two of the sponge throws was going to mess it up for everyone. Um, I'm really proud of my team. I think we really came together as one, and I'm really happy to be working with them. So a little freaked out that literally everyone in my alliance is on the orange team. But I'm excited to make new friends um, on the other team, so on the blue team. The winning team! So, yay! Uh, I think the challenge went pretty well. I was like, I was hyped really about the team. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm a little, not worried, but I feel like Brian might be a little bit of a poison for our team. It's kind of negative, so I'm worried about that. But hopefully we don't have to vote anyone off anytime soon, so. Yeah. Hello. All right. Hey guys. So you just talk, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah. We lost a challenge. We today. lost a challenge. Really bomb. It's all me and Jake's fault. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> we had some struggles with the word puzzle. Mm -hmm. I felt confident in it, and I just I don't know. I didn't see the two L's and put that together, which yeah. I, I kicked myself for when I heard that's what it was. Um, you want to hear some minor tea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Julia, but she should not have exposed me like that. Well, um, well, well she, she was like, you get like stressed out or whatever, and like because she said that, I feel like I got stressed out. She said that she before said, the challenge. I didn't yeah. hear that. Okay, she good. She and asked, like, are I, you sure you want to do the puzzle? And that low key like psyched me out. Yeah, I can see that. I love you, Julia. But that is the tea. Yeah. Um, so we should let her out. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, okay. You gotta vote someone out. I was gonna say. No, someone and... out. Oh, wait, okay. Curtis is safe. Curtis mm -hmm. is safe. Us four and Paul, I feel like, are solid. And yeah. they should, like, yeah. And I want, I know Julie would vote with us. Yeah. And that's what but we But she might right be now. the easy vote out. She might be the easy well, vote. I mean, we Plus, used a couple challenges. That's what it comes to. Because, I don't know, I, I don't it, think. Oh, I'd like need our team roster next to me. Mm -hmm. I'll pull it up. Um, Cam, I, and... Cam and Cam and because I I just I think he would not be a good person to vote out. Cause he seems like our Ruby. No, I like who. Him. Um, what's his name? Colin. 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 Thank you. Um, what do we think about Cam? I like her. She's I, quiet. I like she her. Was, she, she was, was quiet. Good. She did really well in the challenge. She did really she did well. Laugh out a couple of my jokes. So we'll keep her. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So we don't like, there's really not really have that many options. So our options, if we want to keep, what's his name again? Colin. Colin. I think be... Colin would be really stupid to vote out at this so point. It's, it's... Why? Because I think he's probably the, the next one we know is going to be physical, and he's our thrower. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. like, he's the only one who can really throw. I, mean, I can't throw. So it's Cam. So or... Cam and Julia. Julia. First official vlog, I guess. Um, well, first one since the season started. I'm excited to kind of get into everything. Um, being here and uh, getting the chance to play this game that I really, really love so much is just incredible for me. I mean, uh, hearing things like open up your buffs and hearing things like uh, <laughs> you have time to strategize, but then we get started. It just, oh, I'm so, so pumped. The theme was revealed to be fans versus firsts, and 
It's interesting. I mean, I, I do like the theme. I think it's really cool. I didn't know there would be like theme tribe divisions kind of thing. I thought it would just be random. So um, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to play with people who know the game right off the bat. But I'm also a little upset because I was kind of hoping, oh, we just have a few of these guys who don't know what they're doing and we can pick them off right away. Um, but the problem with finding out that I'm on the fans tribe, which is a completely fair distinction, <laughs> was that before someone was like, oh, have you guys like actually seen the show? And I was like, oh, I've seen a little bit. Um, wh when we were all like getting to know each other, Sean actually said like, oh, I know someone's mom, someone whose mom was on the show. Um, and he's like, yeah, her last name is Bolin. And um, you know, we're like, oh, I wonder like who that was. I immediately knew he was talking about Betsy Bolin, who was on Samoa, and who got voted out because she came for Russell Hance too quickly. It's I have a strange knowledge about like the show. I've seen it that much. I've seen every single episode. I listen to podcasts about it. Like this is just, this is what I do, and having the opportunity to do this is amazing. But I am just a little nervous because I you know, didn't tell people that I was a super fan. And uh, then they find out, oh, you're one of the people who is, is told to be a fan. And um, I think I have to try to figure out what that line is. Like, is this just people who have seen the show or who have seen reality TV? Because he also said Big Brother. I don't know. I don't know yet. So I just got home from the first challenge um, on the orange team, which is fitting considering I wore all orange to the challenge. We lost. I'm upset about it because I'm a tad competitive. Um, I like my team a lot. They did really good. Um, I'm a little worried about Tribal though. Um, Curtis got poisoned, whatever that means, so he's safe. So the amount of people that are actually in danger is it's, it's a small group. So it's statistically, it's a little more nerve wracking that I might get voted out. But um, at the beginning, we everyone asked each other for what their strengths were. Um, and I said that my strengths were catching and throwing. Um, and I performed, I caught and threw, I was the middle person. Um, so I'm not worried strength wise, I think I did pretty good. So that makes me feel a little bit better about getting voted out. Um, there were other players though, who said they were good at certain things who didn't necessarily perform, not trying to ruffle feathers, but um, so we'll definitely see how it goes. I'm excited for Friday. Um, probably reach out to people, do some strategic moves tomorrow or, or Tuesday or at some point during the week. Don't want to do it right now. A little anxious about the whole thing, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I missed the challenge because I went to like a club sports officers meeting. Um, I'm a captain of a club sports team on campus, um, along with being an RA. I'm involved in some stuff in my department, in the broadcast department. So we're really busy this semester, um, which has been tough for sure. And then that was like kind of a big deal for me to go to that. So I went, of course. But um, now that that's out of the way, hopefully they won't run into too many more conflicts um, until the game gets a little more serious. And hopefully the times for, excuse me, the times for challenges are a little bit more flexible as I, uh, as we get deeper and deeper into the game and there's less and less players. Um, sort of my strategy that we kind of came up with with Colin in class to expand on it. Um, Colin's not on my team. He's not in my tribe. Um, he's in the Watchers tribe. I'm in the first tribe, I believe. And... Uh, since Curtis apparently was poisoned, I think, in the first first challenge, which means that he's safe at Tribal Council. Um, he all, Colin also knows that Curtis got a cue for the, uh, got a, excuse me, got a, um, this is a clue for where the, the first immunity idol is. My team, uh, the non-watchers, the first tribe, we were also given a clue. So I gave Colin my clue, and then Colin is going to try to basically tell Curtis that call that me and Curtis have an alliance um and then I'm Colin and I do have an alliance so Colin's gonna try to leverage that to convince Curtis to tell Colin his clue for the immunity idol so Colin knows both and then Colin's gonna share Curtis's clue if it's different with me now if it is different it kind of leaves me with a question because it means that if I want to stay in the game I can take that clue and turn around and give it to my team to prove that they need to keep me around because I have connections on the other side. Uh, however, um, Colin made a good point. I was just talking to him and said that we should wait to see if I'm like on a threat of getting kicked out before I hand over the other clue to my team because then they could just kick me out after I give it to them and say, well, we have what we need from you. You know, we don't want you on the team anymore. So 
<laughs> just got off the phone on a FaceTime with Colin. Um, Colin is very focused on having this vote go by challenge strength. And that's not really how I'm trying to play this game. That seems like a very, very basic understanding of what Survivor is to me. I think Survivor is more about having alliances and having relationships. And having challenge strength, while it helps, and winning immunities helps, and I really want to do that, there's going to be tribe swaps and there's going to be switches and stuff. Going to the end with a bunch of challenge beasts is just kind of stupid. So I understand that I think there could be a Pagani. I think that the firsts might, you know, have that kind of basic mentality. But I think the problem is that Colin seems to have the same mentality. So he said the person who did the worst in the challenge was Valentina. And my heart just sunk when that happened. I was like, oh no, oh no. Everything's going to shit. We formed an alliance yesterday called Spanish Club with me, her, Molly, and Paul. So I don't really want Valentina to go home. However, I didn't tell Colin that because I don't want Colin to see that I have this alliance and see that I'm very loyal to them for now. Um, but the problem is, it's tough because I, I do trust that Colin is a straight shooter just from just from knowing him. He seems like a guy who's all about doing what's best for the tribe, which is great. And I, I am glad he's on our tribe. But I'm more of a snake. <laughs> I'm more of someone who's going to be wheeling and dealing and someone who's going to be making multiple deals. So when he told me Valentina, I told him that I think Molly and Valentina are close and I'm not sure if she's going to want to do that. And I also told her, I also told, uh, told him that I don't want to leave Molly out of the vote. So I just got off FaceTime with um, Jake. We had a quick conversation about where our heads were at. Um, I recorded the FaceTime, but unfortunately there was no audio, so I just decided to make a vlog and sum it up. I think he might do the same thing. Basically what we talked about is, you know, we're both upset about losing the challenge, obviously, and we kind of talked about who we thought was... We thought that what mattered most is that we keep our team really strong before the merge. Like, we need to focus on eliminating the weakest player, unfortunately, um, so that we can keep that team strong until the merge, so we can really kind of, you know keep winning challenges, hopefully start winning some. Um, but we kind of agreed that everyone performed pretty well in the challenge, everyone tried their best, but out of everyone, there was one person who stepped up and said that she was really good at puzzles, and then she didn't, she was very distracted during the puzzle and was struggling with it, and then tapped out. And, you know, Jake did the puzzle too, but he didn't, he didn't tap out and he focused the entire time, and he tried his best, but I, we both kind of agreed that we think Valentina was the weakest in that challenge, unfortunately. Um, we talked a little bit about how Valentina and Molly are actually in the same sorority, so we're worried they're a little, they're tight and Molly might not want to swing our way to vote against Valentina. I'm in a bit of a pickle right now because I was just talking to Valentina earlier today and we were telling each other how we're a final two and I, I've been feeling iffy about my final two with her since since, I don't know, since yesterday, just cause like, I don't know, she seemed like she was talking to a lot of other people and like I haven't talked to her since the summer when we first really made our final two plan together. And I like fully trust Ava because of things I've said before, I believe. Um, but, and we were saying that we are both fully loyal to the Spanish club alliance with Jake and Molly, but I am in a very hard spot right now because I wanted a group FaceTime with Spanish Club. Molly is 21 and drinking, so she is unavailable at the moment. And Valentina is doing something with her little, oh, Molly just respond. And so Molly is drinking and Valentina is doing something with her little right now, so she's busy for like an hour. But Colin's texting me and he's talking about doing what's strongest what to make the tribe strongest he's being very logical about it he's like we gotta vote out valentina because she's she's we all talked about her strengths with it before the challenge and she's the only one who really she said she was fully confident in the word puzzle and she kind of fell apart and i mean on my part that's why when we were doing that i was like yeah i'm like confident but i'm not super confident because i wasn't gonna put myself in that spot so it's kind of on valentina then isn't it 
Mm-hmm. I can't fly. She's a fu- oh. Mm-hmm. So. So Colin's texting me this. He's beating around the bush, kind of. And I send it to Spanish Club. Because I'm like, this is interesting. And they're like, oh, that's really weird. And Valentina's like, if he says my name, we'll vote him out. And she was like half joking, but... I don't know, I'm, I'd rather blindside someone who might be a bigger asset for challenges, cause like, challenges are, we can't like really count on one person, and I trust Valentina more, and I feel like Spanish Club should trust each other more, I think that's the way to do it for us, but I don't know if I can trust them, cause while, after I send the thing in the group chat from Colin, I get a private text from Molly, and she admits that she's drinking and busy at the moment. But she wants, she thinks that Colin's talking about Valentina, which she didn't realize that he actually was. Like, I, I'm still talking to him, and he is talking about Valentina. But she thinks that it's about Valentina, and she wants to talk to me tomorrow and talk about things. And that's a big red flag for me. Like, I can't just talk with Molly because that's, she thinks, I don't know. And it's, it's a red flag, and I'm not sure about it, because my guess is that she wants to talk about flip turning on Molly. Um, Molly wants to talk about <laughs> turning on Valentina, but I'm not here for that. Like, my final two is really Valentina. I was thinking, like, the two of us go with the two of Jake and Molly, and that would put me in a really hard spot all alone if I got rid of Valentina. But at the same time, I have Ava on the other tribe. I still have an ally in Julia. So it could be good for me, but I have a class with Valentina now and it'd be awkward to see her if I voted her out. But besides that, like I did make a final two with her and even though I was back and forth on it yesterday, like after today I was pretty solid on it until now. So I'm a little stressed, a little bugging and Valentina, I want to talk to her first about things. I'm waiting for her. She said she'd kick her little out in an hour. And that hour cannot come soon enough. Not, not to attack anyone, because I really like her laughing emoji. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to sound like a bad guy. Mm -hmm. Colon slash. But I feel like that's what I noticed, and some others did too. Okay. But the thing is, we carried on a conversation. We're, we're still talking. I'll get back to it. Mm -hmm. What stuck out to me was, as we saw in our group chat, Spanish Club, when I first told them that Colin was like, beating around the bush, Molly, who's 21 and fully drinking, because she's allowed to do that, mm -hmm. said, texted me privately afterwards. And that's already a red flag to me. And she says, yo, I fully admit I'm drunk. Can we plan a, a FaceTime tomorrow? I think Colin might be referring to Valentina. Yeah. Please don't say anything, because I don't want anyone to freak out if I'm wrong. I don't have classes until 12.45 so I can wake up as early as like 10 to think about this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what's she thinking about if we're like full send in the Spanish club alliance? Right, right. I'm not the one that this up. Period. You know why? Because roll the tapes, roll the tapes. Jake is the one that was very adamant with the fact that it said orange and i didn't want to argue because i wanted to be one be a team player two he was so sure that i trusted him and i was like okay we were cool we already have a previous like friendship in the game i got you if i'm gonna support you in this because you seem good about it that is why i trusted him and the reason that i tapped out because Julia felt very confident and I, I've known Julia I know Julia very well I know when she's confident that's when she said that I was like okay the reason I was the one that tapped out and not Jake I was willing to sacrifice my ego for, to, like, to, for a chance for us to win period and Jake didn't do that and meanwhile Jake was very confident that it was orange which it wasn't and that his ego is what got us to believe. Period. That is why he should go home. Last time on Survivor Syracuse Fans vs. First. 17 Syracuse college students met to create the first season of Survivor Syracuse. Soon after, they were split into their tribes, Fans vs. Firsts. 
For the first challenge, the fans led the majority of the time, but lost out to the firsts. The first were granted the power to poison one of their rivals and chose Curtis, granting Curtis the new twist to the season, the Poison Idol Clue. Soon after, a new alliance called Spanish Club, consisting of Paul, Valentina, Molly, and Jake, formed. But then Colin reached out to Jake, and while focusing on challenge strength, said that Valentina was the person who cost them the challenge. While this leaked out, Paul told Valentina what happened, and Valentina is now targeting Jake, saying that he is the person who lost in the challenge. Who will be the first person voted out? Find out tonight on Survivor Syracuse, Fans vs. First. Congratulations on being the first Poison player of Survivor Syracuse. Must be a very threatening player if chosen, so why not help you out a bit? Hidden somewhere within Thornton Park is a new twist added to the season, the Poisoned Idol. Find the Poisoned Idol and trust me you won't be disappointed. Make sure to vlog the search. Clue 1. I'm hidden in a place of peace and love, but at the same time rock and roll. Find me and gain immediate power, but be careful, people may see you looking. If found, please text Luke. Alright, so Sean and I just saw the first idol clue and we kind of broke off from the group after the subway lunch and we're just going to take a look around. We're thinking maybe the kissing bench? Yeah, I think it said something about um, people sitting and so I was thinking athletes sit on the bench. So that's kind of where we're headed right now, but we, uh, we're going to keep our options open. We're going to keep looking. Okay, so we're at Falk College right now. Um, we kind of had a bit of an epiphany because uh, sports players, baseball, football, basketball, no matter what it is, uh, all have to go here, sports medicine and management, I guess. Yeah. Um, and most importantly, it overlooks everything. Yeah, so this is kind of where we're at now. Um, kind of looking around here and see if we come up with anything. Uh, but we're still not too sure exactly where it's at yet, so. Yeah, we're just gonna dig around. Hello, so, currently in between classes, and I have some time before I was gonna meet up with Colin and talk to him and try to sell him the don't vote at Valentina and <coughs> Jake and Molly are snakes story. And I thought I'd use some of my time to go idol hunting using the clue that Ava so generously shared with me. So I read the clue and it's about all the different sports and I was thinking the dome, but baseball doesn't play there. So I figured I'd try Thorndon and right now I'm near the football field. I'm making my way through it. And I was confused because it's, the clue says something about most will sit, but the idol overlooks all. So I was like, I was thinking like under a bench, but then the whole overlooking thing kind of confused me. Like, that's either it's physically overlooking all of us or whoever wrote the clue meant to say like where we overlook it because like it's like under our nose so I might check under the benches I'm not sure it's also a dig which I'm kind of worried about doing but digging might be a good idea but then I was thinking about that big tower right there 
so that might help us because I'm thinking that's overlooking like all of Thornton Park I've run up that hill before um so I'll definitely check out there after I check under the benches so hey guys so it's me and Ava here in Newhouse we are you know just ran into each other before class and we just decided to talk some strategy um one of the things that we were talking about is like so we're not kicking anyone out this week, but like, what if we had to? Like, who would be our person that we would kick out? And also, we were talking about who we think has alliances already, yes. and who are already like in a little gang because neither of us feel like we have that mm -hmm. right now. I think my plan is that like to try to keep my friends in as long as because I want to play with them. Like, I don't want to play with a random stranger. So like, I would probably vote out Molly, even though she's really helpful. <laughs> I'm scared of her in Oh, an alliance? That's, that's because they, yeah. Yeah, I don't and know. And I feel like they could eliminate one of us. I don't know, but good thing you don't have to eliminate anyone this week. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. But I feel like we have to start thinking have to about, think it. about it. Yeah, definitely. So we came to the library uh, just because we thought maybe top floor library that's some sort of, uh, you know, athletic from. Uh, tribute or memorial just looking around it also kind of overlooks a lot of people sit in the library but nothing couldn't find anything we couldn't get up to the sixth floor it was where we were thinking it might be um and now we're just kind of on the floor with books and we don't really have anything for right now so we're going to call it a day we're kind of both kind of exhausted and not really getting anywhere see if we can come up with anything tomorrow yeah. but that's all we got for right now so the main thing like i really want to like keep the tribe like the easiest way for me to do it is like keeping the tribe strong and like yeah. that's going in that's what I, I wanted to do that and I wanted to like build like relationships with people that are like dependable yep. and I can trust yep. and coming in like I, I like definitely had like a little bit of a bias towards Valentina because like I knew her from before mm -hmm. so like it kind of hurt like wanting to vote her out based on the challenge yeah and it's still it's still the most logical thing to do but that said I still like we didn't want to like blindside I Anyone, agree with you. right? I agree with you. So it's just it's. I feel like it's like too early to do that now. Like we can do it. Too early to, do to what? blindside. To blindside now. Oh, you totally. Know? Do you think yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, but what are we? What are we defining as like a like a blind, blind side? You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're saying like. Yeah, I guess that's true. I think the per, we don't want the person to know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like I feel like I wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like the blind side, the real ones are like when there's. We merge, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, totally. don't see it coming at all. But, yeah, so I am, I'll wait till we get yeah. in. But I was just telling Julia, like, I am, like, close to Val on, like, a friend level. Right. So I did want to, I wanted to, like, talk to her and get her perspective. I didn't, like, throw anyone's name out. Right, that's right. In, like, be in that, like, that's, that's like, the strategy for most of the tribe. And she made some good points to me that, like, in terms of the challenge, do we want to talk here? Or? So she made some points to me about, in the challenge, she was saying that she thought that she wasn't the weakest one, and she was saying it was more Jake, because the, yeah. what was it? Because I was just I was having this conversation. Because Valentina like, tapped out, and Jake like, wouldn't tap out, you know what I mean? Like, so she kind of gave up when she knew it was time. And, like, Jake like she was more compromising yeah. like with the team, in terms instead of being like stubborn and sticking to the word. And you were right that like Jake did make the word. Yeah. But it was a wrong word. It was like not the right and word. And the thing is he was stuck on it. And... <laughs> Going to Sally's? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See you there. And like, I don't want to like throw anyone's name like fully no, under no, the bus right, at the time. Right. But I'm just saying like, I was thinking about this like last night before I went to bed. Yeah, but <laughs> with Jake and like the, if, and if Val's right about like Jake and like, Jake was like stuck on the word. Like I would hope that like if I were playing that challenge, I didn't step up to it because I didn't want to be the one to like lose it for everyone. Right. If I were him and like it was we had orange and we couldn't do anything with the other two words, it would have I would have either wanted to tap out or I would have wanted to like not stick with that word. I'm with you. Because like maybe I could have stepped up because like I do I play like wordscapes on my phone, but like yeah. that's it. But like when I know a word's not working, it's not working. Yeah. So I don't. I'm just trying to like look like check both sides. Yeah, no, I know. There's, there's two ways to go at it. The only reason that I was immediately thinking Valentino was because Jake and I talked first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like before, like he, he like out of everyone, he texted me first, so I talked to him. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, wait. So when did he text you? Jake texted me the day after the challenge. Same. 
He texted you. He texted you too. Okay. And I, he talked to me like the day of the challenge, like afterwards, like okay. when, like. Well, check well, well the dinner we talked with like a bunch of us on both drives. Right. But, like he texted yeah, me the, yeah. after, and he was like trying. He was saying that he was like comfortable like keeping me, me and Valentina were there together, so he said he was like comfortable like keeping us. And now he's I don't, I don't know if he's like saying different stuff. Right. To each of them. Interesting. Yeah, because you don't. Do you know if you he's talked to? Because you were talking to Cam too, right? I talked to Cam. She was like busy last night. I talked to her for a while about um, just like what she thought, and she agrees that we need to keep strong. Yeah, basically. I agree. And I think Molly thinks the same thing because she just texted me. Okay. And we talked a little bit about that, but I don't know. I don't know, because I could see it both ways. Like I could see Valentina because she was, you know, she said she was good at puzzles, and mm -hmm. then she didn't do all in the puzzle. Or I could see it's Jake because Jake, you know. Yeah. It's the same thing. Jake came up with the with the word, but it wasn't right. Yeah. And then he didn't. It's hard. It's you know what I mean. Like it's kind yeah. of difficult there. I'm just. I am a I'm little just glad that we all did. I'm, I'm glad yeah. we like. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. not on our backs. Yeah. Well, yeah. no. Actually, apparently my name's out there. So yeah. I'm no, your name. Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear that. Really? So uh, I just knew that you said to vote you out at the beginning, and I stopped. I, just, yeah, I was trying to mess with Luke. I thought it was Jake funny. Was apparently funny. not. Throwing your name out to me. Apparently, people really think I don't want he to be. He was also throwing. I don't well, think I did it first, but then I was like, I obviously wanted to ask you. I don't yeah. think he's. I don't think he said your name, but I think he said he said Cam's name, because Cam yeah, was like Cam kind of so not good. really talking to anyone no, on the outs. Sure, but I she know, but she was so. And it's because like I think. And I think it's also because I also think he was like trying to cater to like me oh, and to, with Valentina when like because he saw us like we were having Dude, dinner together we were like I'm okay with Jake but I'm also okay with anyone that's out me. So we decided to make a an alliance. Um, we're all massive fans of the game, and so we decided, you know what, we're all in the same boat. Um, let's do this. So I came up with a name. It's called Spanish Club. Um, but, um, me, okay, so let's try to backtrack, um, Colin, awesome dude, but he was basically telling Paul that, um, that some people, i.e. me, weren't, um, didn't perform, uh, to the best of their ability in the challenge, and that pissed me off. Um, and so Paul, being literally my number one in this game, um, gave me the receipts, um, and so, and, like, honestly, like, Colin didn't even name me at first, he just, like, shaded me so quickly, I was like, okay, bet, anyway, but then he named me, um, but anyway, we, um, luckily, Paul kind of diverted him, uh, cause, like, I told Paul that, like, yo, Jake is basically the one that like messed the challenge up for us. Um, he was the one that was very adamant that like the word, one of the words was orange, which wasn't, but like I trusted him. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna give up my ego and just let, you know, for the team and just let us win. Um, and we did it. And the, uh, while yes, like this was partially on me it was more so on jake so anyway not that like the challenge should be the only reason you should like vote someone off but anyway um but any when paul cleared that up with colin colin was like okay cool um good um so while i was like my name was thrown out there it's not right now not that i know of at least um so anyway i so Paul told me that basically Jake was talking to everyone and so was Molly and while yes this is a game it's not great for me they're talking to everyone I bet they have good relationships with everyone and that's a threat so I was like Paul what if we just get one of them out like I love them obviously they're my friends they're awesome but this is a game and um they're threatening me and your game so screw it let's do it okay. all right so what's what are you thinking kind of for like tribal i've only spoken to one other person okay. about, like vote for and the impression that i got from that person was that we should vote for like jake okay because of the whole like puzzle thing like that was the reason we lost the challenge 
I was also under the impression from that conversation that like there's already a lot of people who will be voting for Jake so Uh I don't know how accurate that is because I've only spoken to one person so it's only that count but I feel like that might just be the way people go because there's really no other metric to decide so early yeah I'm just like worried about keeping the team strong and I feel like he's athletic he's like a runner and stuff Okay. So, um, I was actually, like, the name I've been hearing is Julia. Julia, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, see, my thought with her is, I, that actually would be, that would actually be a good long-term thing. Just because yeah. she knows a lot about the game. Um, she, sure, she for sure would have a lot of knowledge about the game. Yeah. But then that could end up being, like, harmful in the, in the long term. Yeah. So, I can see why that, yeah. Alright, so the past few days have kind of been a roller coaster. Originally, Colin came to me and said, Hey, you know what? Valentina should be the target. And I was kind of like, mm, Maybe not. Maybe not that. Um, and when we found out that, we thought, Okay, maybe Julia's our best bet. Then me, Molly, Valentina, and Paul have the four for going forward. It seemed last night that we kind of decided that that was our best bet. Then today happened. (laughs) Oh, today happened. Molly had a meeting with Curtis, who told her that someone told him to vote for me. Which obviously did not make me feel so great. I felt like, you know, I I felt like someone was after me. I felt like that my survivor journey was going to end in about two seconds. I have been envisioning this for so long. For so long I've wanted to play this game, and for so long I've wanted to, you know, go all the way to the end and to win individual immunities, and to win just an immunity challenge. And even that has been, you know, quickly usurped from me because I spelled the word orange. If that's my downfall, I'm going to be really pissed. I'm just going to be very, very upset. So, Molly says that he's coming for me. And we decide, okay, this means that Cam had to tell him. And this means that Cam has to be our target for tonight. Cam has not really made an effort to connect with any of us. She just seems like someone who doesn't care about the game. And it may not be a big move, but for our first vote, I think it's the right one. Then, (laughs) I ran into Curtis tonight. And Curtis comes up to me. And he's like, oh, hi, you're playing Survivor Syracuse, right? Which is strange to me. I've reached out to Curtis. I've said, hey, it's Jake from Syracuse. I uh, just wanted to reach reach out to you so you have my number and so we can talk in the future. What Curtis didn't seem to realize was that there's one Jake in this game, was that there's not two. And immediately, he looks at me with a look of pure fear in his eyes. He's just like, like that's the only look I can really describe it as. He's like, wait, <laughs> he's like, you, there, is there more than one Jake? I was like, no, it's just me, buddy. And he's like, okay (laughs) in that kind of voice and i was like should i be worried because you know i'm playing coin at this at this point even if i ran into him at like one o'clock at night i'm just like what's going on and he's like oh nothing ran into him later he comes up to me and he says they're gunning for you they're gunning for you because you're the person who put orange in the challenge and the people gunning for you are Paul, and Valentina. Colin was Colin was very good in challenges, yeah. but we he threw Valentina when I contacted and, him. Yeah, and to me. He literally said to me, I think Valentina did the worst. No one thinks you did the worst, which apparently is not the case. Um, and I was like, you'll be fine. I think it's Valentina. And I was like... 
I'm like, let's talk to people, and maybe not. <laughs> yeah, um, but Valentina and Paul kind of make up our, like, core yeah. alliance as well, so not too hot with the names that are getting thrown out really there. Not, really not trying to draw rocks tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so I think... We need a fit. We might I think pull we in Julie. Do you think we should switch to Cam? Yeah, if they're throwing our names... I mean, she hasn't even talked to me. Yeah, so Cam like, hasn't even reached out to me. Uh, I'm going to text Julie right now. I think we should talk to her, like, tonight. It's just, like, to me, it feels like probably not Cam's my... just not even trying. Yeah, I, like, because I texted her and reached out to her and was like, let's meet up, da-da-da-da-da. We decided on today after 5.30. Mm -hmm. I had some shit pop up that was unfortunate this today, so I kind of forgot about it for a bit, but she didn't contact me at all about it as, like, a follow-up. Um, like, she didn't even really notice that we didn't talk. Um, which is kind of like, what you doing? Yeah. But she is, she's like, she was so fast. I know. But I mean, I'm just, I mean, it's, if it's, it comes down to her or me, I'd rather I be know, her. I know. Or Valentina. Like, I don't want to do Valentina either. Yeah. The thing is, we just need one of them to go, and then us four have the majority. Yeah. So, for the first challenge, I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a great setup, a great competition to start off Survivor Syracuse. Um, I think our team did really well. It was almost perfect until the end where we didn't complete the puzzle before the other team. And so now we have to go to Tribal, and the talk really has been that it came down to that puzzle, and in Survivor you gotta vote out the weakest person, so a lot of people are talking about Valentina and Jake. And even though I just met Valentina, I really like her, and I don't want to vote her out in the first round, so I want to keep her around. Um, Jake, on the other hand, I heard suggested I should be the first person voted out, so wouldn't really have a problem voting him out, I guess. I don't know him, I don't really have any connections to him, and if he wants to get me out, I definitely don't want that person around. So, tribal should be interesting, I'm very excited to go, and hopefully I'm not the first person voted out. amazing. Welcome fans tribe. We are at the first tribal council for survivor fans versus firsts. Um, so let's let's talk about the challenge. Um, if anyone wants to answer this. Um, so where do you guys go wrong? What do you guys think of it? Go ahead. <laughs> just, just start speaking. The puzzle really shook us. I'm gonna say it. Puzzles blew us. They, they got the yeah. word figured out faster than us. We were just looking at letters. It we was, thought we had a good start, but we got you know, off track. It was the kind of thing where you either get it right away or you don't. And yeah. I was fixated on the word orange. And uh, I, like, and it's a, we don't like it. Yeah. It's a valid word. Yeah. Like, try yeah. It's just color. tough. It's tough to lose like that. Yeah. I think we all performed really, really well too. Though. That's the thing that kind of sucks the most is that there weren't many mistakes. Yeah. Like that was just like. Fair enough. Uh, coming into this tribal, do you guys base this vote off of challenge strength, people you trust within the tribe? What are you guys basing this vote on? If you want to get stronger to win the next challenge, if you want to maintain a core group so that you guys can win more challenges and once we get to the merge, you guys can just defeat everyone. What is your thoughts on that? I think it's a lot of things. Um... I, for me personally, it's like game first, like honest, like I look you fine and stupid if you're just taking like someone out for one challenge, like everyone has like an off day, but yeah. 
both, I guess. You kind of have to balance them. It's the short versus long-term goals. Um, and if we want to make it to further on in the game, then we need to win in the short term. So I kind of have to figure out how to balance that. We want to win. We want to beat the first. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> in their place. Fair enough. Uh, Curtis, you got poisoned by the other tribe. Any thoughts on that? Have people been coming to you? Have people just been avoiding you? Uh, uh, what's, what's your view? Some, some people reached out to me. Um, I talked with a few people. Um, something that happened in my personal life kind of prevented uh, me from uh, FaceTiming some people this morning because of uh, something that happened last night. Uh, RIP my Xbox. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm still a little uh, on the fence about some uh, decisions in voting. so. Hopefully I can figure that out in the next few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Alliance talked. Have you guys been hearing about alliances? Have you guys been not even thinking about alliances since it's so early in the game? What's your views on those? There are no alliances. We're yeah. a tribe. <laughs> We're I think a it's tough. I think it's tough like to talk about alliances now. Like there's people that you're like more comfortable talking to, I would say, but we're all kind of like, I think what we want is to win, obviously, so we want our team to be really strong going into the next challenge, so it's it's not necessarily an alliance, it's more just like, like we just need to talk to each other, like everyone just needs to talk to each other, yeah. figure it out. Fair enough. Um, idols, I know you guys didn't receive a vote, has anyone reached out to people, has anyone, if they want to view it, if they want to release it here, has anyone been searching for it, has anyone not really thought about it at all? Whatever. Your map was big. Without a clue, I don't even see the point of even yeah. starting because I don't know. I don't really want to dig up the Syracuse bushes for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like obviously like we've all like thought about it, but like like even just the concept of like it being in this one yeah. park that is way too much to very daunting to think about. Um, we'll single out some people now. Um, Cam. What's your views on this vote? Are you basing it off a challenge? Are you basing it off the people that you've talked to? What are you thinking? I'm thinking a little bit of both. Like you said, that down there, um, long run versus short run, you know, we don't have to do this if we win challenges, so mm -hmm. that's important. Yeah. Valentine and Jake, right in front of me. Uh, you guys, a lot of people would say that you guys messed up on the puzzle. That was the last okay. part of the challenge. You guys were in the lead, and you guys no fumbled it from there. Would you guys say that you're feeling threatened right now? Do you guys feel that? I mean, I think I it'd be stupid to like not feel threatened. You don't come to tribal feeling safe. Yeah, I don't no. think so. And I then feel, if you do, you're not. You know what I mean? I just hope people know that I'm willing to help this tribe however I can, yeah. and one mistake doesn't define how I can perform to help you out. Yeah. Uh, Julia. You were the last person to walk into the challenge, the first challenge. Do you think that has any effect on the vote? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm feeling very on the outs, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people reached out to me, like, yesterday. So that's not usually, like, a good sign. I'm going to say, like, a lot of people were feeding me names so that I wouldn't vote in one way. And they're trying to, like, I don't know. I don't feel safe, but we'll see how it goes. I have a plan. See if it goes through. <laughs> um, raise of hands if you think your name's on the block tonight. Like getting voted out? Like getting voted out, like your chance. Alright. Right. I mean, I feel like we should all like, raise our yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if you're not raising your hands, I don't think Curtis, everyone's a little bit nervous. Alright. Um, once again, Curtis is safe because he's poisoned, so no votes casted for Curtis will count. Um, and we'll get started. Curtis, you're the first one. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs>
that, actually. <laughs> No, immunity idols are in play, as well as special idols. If anyone has an immunity idol or a special idol, now is the time to play it. Alright, without further ado, I'll read the votes. First vote, Jake. Second vote, Cam. That's one vote, Jake, one vote, Cam. Third vote. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> Fourth vote. Jake. That's two votes, Cam. Two votes, Jake. Four votes left. Fifth vote. Cam. Sixth vote. Cam. That's four votes, Cam. Two votes, Jake. Two votes left. Seventh vote. The first person voted out of Survivor Plans versus First. Cam. Cam, the tribe has spoken. All right, guys. Seven people remain to the first nine. We have a very physical challenge coming up next, so get ready. And I hope you guys are not back here next week. All right, thank you. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor. With a true test of physical strength and willpower, the competitors face off in one of the most physical challenges of this season, dodgeball. Throughout the week, chaos hit as more and more people try to search for the first idol of this season. And with that comes powerful alliances emerging. Okay, so I just got voted out. I'm actually kind of really depressed. And, you know, I didn't, I did expect it, but after talking to a couple people, I didn't expect it. And then I feel like I really proved that I was, you know, athletic and the next challenge is the most physical challenge, so to miss out on that and to show that I belong on the tribe really sucks, but, you know, unfortunately I just got voted out.